Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cut, and I'm here to finish up our um, black and white journal. Um, all I have left on the journal is to sew in the signatures, so it's sitting in its little cradle, ready for that, which I will do later. Um, this is the journaling card that I made from. This was one of those like coloring postcard size cards, and then I just backed it with old book page and uh, put some lace up there and stitched around it. So that's what's going to be in this pocket, and then. Um, I want to make, because I'm not doing an envelope, or not an envelope, a pocket on the back of this because I just like the way the collage came out and I don't really want to put a pocket on the back, um, I'm going to make like an envelope thing to tuck inside of there along with the journal. So we're going to work on that. So what, <laughs> Theron, seriously, I'm not doing I know you're not, it's just hilarious because every day. <laughs> too funny like he doesn't sneeze all day <laughs> I turn on the video camera in the morning and he sneezes it's just funny okay so um, these are two standard size envelopes and I've done something like this before it's um, I just did it by itself it was that envelope thingy if you've watched my videos for a while the one that went this way and then you could fold it up like this and tuck the flap in but this time I'm gonna take uh, regular these are standard envelopes they are I can never remember the size of these for some reason they're like six and a quarter by three and it's just over three and a half there so um, I just cut the two ends off of that one it's probably about three and three quarters when you have the two ends on there but I just cut very thin slivers off of that and then this will connect like this. This is another envelope of the same size. So you can use any envelope. It doesn't have to be the ones that are this size. Um, it's just going to kind of depend on what you're using for your card. And even that really doesn't matter. You can use any envelopes that you want. So I'll just connect it like that. This will become a pocket. This I'm going to attach some of the scrap papers from um, you know making this journal so there's just some of the pieces so that they can be used uh, however you can either like write on the back or um, use them in the journal itself and this journal is sold so um, thank you to everybody who's asked I really appreciate your interest you guys are awesome so um, one thing I do remember is this needs to be smaller in order to fold up I just remember that so I'm going to cut the bottom off of this journal, this journal, this envelope. So that's something I forgot and I just remembered when I was trying to fold this. You have to make this envelope a little bit smaller because, you know, you're folding it up like that and then it won't close right. So um, we're going to take a sliver off the end of this, which works anyway because then we can put our pocket over here instead of trying to do it that way. So let's cut off a little bit and you don't need a lot off. It just needs to be a tiny you know fraction this much that's all I cut off and now it opens on the bottom so I'm gonna put some glue on here I hope you're all having an awesome day it's very um, windy here today which is weird because it was really nice yesterday a little cloudy I guess yesterday a little bit of rain but still really nice later in the afternoon I put glue all over that so that's gonna be sticky but it's okay because we're gonna put other stuff over it so it's not a big thing I just kind of want to try to get this as straight as I possibly can Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cover this piece. I know we're putting our scrap paper there, but I, I don't want that blue back there. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move the big pouch out of the way, the pocket pouch for the journal. I'll move this for a second so I can tear this. This is Medieval Mirage. I just shrunk it down. It's her silhouette that I've been using. And I will link her this in the description box below this video. 
it'll say more info and there's a little kind of gray and um, arrow for the description box if you're new and don't know how that all works. So I just want it. It would have helped if I would not have um, glued all over that, but I did, so. Let's try to get this somewhat straight. So yeah, I've been really enjoying doing this. Let's see, I did that way off. How did I do that? I'm trying not to get it stuck is what the problem is. I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down and I will um, kind of do a collage -y type thing. Which is what I did the first time I did one of these. I collaged all over it. That was in my winter wonder or my winter journal that I use my Winter Wonder Digi on. So that's been a while, but I'll try to remember to link that video as well. I just want to really cover up that all that blue. So I haven't done one of these envelopes in a while, and I was like, that would be kind of a fun thing to just you know, put in the pocket or something. Such a dingling. I may do um, another black and white journal. It probably won't be right away, but. Uh, I really enjoyed doing that journal, so. This journal, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> I really like just the black and white together. It's, it's fun. So we have this opening here, so we're going to go ahead and cover this entirely because we don't need it. This is some lace that I just, um, I don't even remember where I found it. I just printed it out. I have all kinds of scraps here. I might kind of overlap a little bit just because, um, one, I didn't make it big enough, and two, we've got these folds. It would be better to leave them not covered at all, but because this is blue on the inside. So you're probably better off if you can find plain, uh, like solid colored envelopes. That way you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to come over it a little bit. Almost, it's just not straight. Surprise, surprise. And this is printed on that parchment paper. Oh, and this is uh, Shabby Dabby Doo does gray um, digi and I will link that in the description box as well okay so I need to glue the envelope and not the piece of paper I almost did that because I mess that up every time and I end up gluing the whole back of the piece of paper and then Obviously, that would glue my envelope shut. Just put 
and some across the top there. This isn't as bad because it does have the white at least. Hopefully, well, I'll wait till it dries because <laughs> I know I'll mess it up. All right, let's see here. On this one, I think I'm going to put this here. I think I might do a writing spot there, like a plain paper. I have any that has. Just with that little edge of black. I guess I should do the whole flap. Then that's going to end up being more black than white. I think I'll just use some of the manila paper. I was <laughs> using it to back tags. And that I'm going a little bit over again. A little bit over the edge is what I was alluding to there. Words, you know. I'm going to glue onto that other, onto that card, so I don't need to worry about covering that. You can see it'll be on here like this. So I sold um, the other journal as well so thank you so much you guys are amazing I really appreciate it because I know it's hard for everybody right now and they must not be um, using or uh, have as many advertisements or something on YouTube because man my numbers there have just cratered and people are still watching and everything. I'm still getting views, quite a few views. It's just that I don't think the advertisers are advertising because why would they, you know, why bother? Because nobody's out buying anything or any of that. Okay. I'm going to let that dry before I fold it because it always gets messed up. And then this can go on here. So see, this could be colored. This could be written on. We'll have the um, scraps there. This is a pocket. So, let's see, I'm not liking that right there, so I'm going to ink that, let's see what it looks like inked. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think after I glue that on there, I'll take a I'll just take a strip of something. This strip would work. The other side doesn't matter because it's going to be covered. Try to use up as much of the scraps as possible. Now it's hard to tell where to hook this on. I'm actually going to trim this pocket down because it doesn't, I don't need that big of a part to glue down. It's not necessary to have that whole flap, but you know, you can glue it down. It's not like it matters. You just don't need all that extra stuff. Then I'll just go like this. See, and you're hardly seeing what I just covered, but I just did not want that blue sticking out. I don't like that. Guess you will see more of it than I thought. This I do want to fold because I want to make sure that I have it at the right spot. I did not need to back this. Oh no, I didn't think about that. That was not dry enough. Um, with book page, but I did it before I, I can't believe I did that. And it's wet, so it won't come off. Okay. That was a dumb move. I'm telling you. All right, let me see if I can fix that. That's stupid. It's like how many pieces of paper can you glue right there? Luckily, this is very thin copy paper. I 
could use. I wonder if my that is my washi. Let's try that because that's even thinner. Don't do that that way. <laughs> you should never watch me do these things, I'm telling you. It was, oh, Taddy Treasures, uh, Tanya was saying, because um, I watched her do her brown uh, color challenge. And she said, you know, she was trying something new and she said, if you don't try, you'll never know if it's good or not, you know, and we all make mistakes, that kind of thing. If you don't try new things, you'll never make mistakes and you won't learn. And I told her, I think I make, make a mistake every day, at least once a day, if not more, probably more. But yes, that is so true. If you never try it or in my case, try to fix it. <laughs> uh, okay, that looks much better. Now let's see, can I fold it over like that? Yes, yay, fabulous. Okay, and then this one, let's see, it feels pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to, try to fold it. is kind of gone. Looks good. Let's put it back on. Yep, that looks good. Yay, at least a few things are working here. Okay, okay. Does make it considerably thicker once you start covering it. A good fold. Okay, so this is my front. I think I'll use some of this. Kind of like that. It needs to go that way so the roses go in the right direction. It'll cover that entirely, so maybe that's what I'll go ahead and do. Love that paper, and I can't remember where I got that. It's really pretty. I didn't have enough to cover it because that other edge was all beat up. But we'll find something to put along there. Not a problem. Sorry, I'm just trying to find some scraps that'll. This one. I don't really like that together. I want more like that one. quite a bit bigger but I think it's okay if we 
we just take a strip. Now I have more scraps. just needs that like <laughs> that black edge right there now if I'll get this one finished but I'll finish it and then tomorrow I'll do the flip through of this journal get to see it all done. I'm just going to be covering, um, you know, the rest of it. And piece the right length here. And then I'll add that little scrap booklet in there. And oh, it needs a journal card to go in the end pocket. This piece first. It is under here on my scissors. Kind of a waste of that really pretty old book page, but. going to set this side flat because I can collage on that with just that one little bit of glue. I just don't want this to get stuck down on there. Should have gone up to the top to glue that. Kids are doing homework. Get up every morning and basically go to school again, which, I mean, that's good. They should be. But, it's kind of funny. Okay, and then I got some of these things, and I got them at Target last year, and they're like little, um, I think I got them in the fall when it was for the teachers. They're these adhesive square label pockets. So um, they are entirely clear. So when you take it off of here, then I can see, make sure that's the top, yeah, <laughs> right through it. So I thought one of these would be kind of fun on here. And I don't know if you can still get them. I have no idea. And I forgot I had them. I just like came across them the other day and was like, oh, duh. So um, this is just an image from um, the old design shop. It's all that same. I only have one of her digis, and it's uh, the one with the ladies that I've been using. And I keep saying the old design shop. So I just cut it out, stitched around it, and added a little lace and backed it. So she can go right in there. And see, you can see her so wonderfully through those. So that's fun. Just something different. And then we need to decorate the back part. This. So I'll use a piece of this since I went, a, I went and tore it. like somebody's playing like horseshoes outside. I keep hearing that, you know, that clank, like, uh, oh, that's what they're doing. I know they're um, putting in a whole new, like, section of our subdivision in the opposite direction of where they're, like, building that way. Now they're building this way. <laughs> it's never going to end. It's crazy. 
they really need to do something about um, how fast they're building because they're just they're just I've talked about it a million times not enough schools not enough anything our roads are just not set up for the amount of people that are coming here so that's a little concerning I might use some of these ads on there because I'm not liking those two patterns together. I mean, I might use that piece just down further or something. Sewing machine's cool. I also have. These typewriters, those would be fun. I think I'll move that down. I just don't like those two together. I'll use one of these typewriters. Do a little bit more of a collage -y thing. And this is out of that typing book that I got from Samantha Jared. I know I say it a lot. I just want people to know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's tear. I should have torn this straight. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about tearing that because um, it's going to overlap that a little. again. It's too huge. Not liking the top of this. That edge isn't torn either. I could put in this little pocket. I have this little bit of this um, trim left, you know, the stitched paper scraps. I'll just stick that in that pocket to be used wherever.
I'm going to go ahead and go over to this next page this way. Our next envelope, I guess you should say. that one better because I can see her better because she's got all that white on. These are just photographs, you know, you can go on um, Pinterest and look for vintage black and white photographs. Um, also, I think, like, um, Mrs. Cox, I think she's got some ladies in black and white, too. I'm not positive about that, but I think so. I'm just going to add this little scrap right there. He was just sitting over there talking to me. <laughs> Sorry, it's that time of the year. Everybody's got to mow. And they do it a lot around here. Okay, here's that. I kind of want some writing space there. So let's see. Okay. The opal ledger. I think I'll get a bigger piece of old ledger. I can't use any of my coffee dyed paper. I was going to use for something. so quiet. <laughs> I could hear the birds. <laughs> Not anymore. So we need something a little bit bigger. I could put this there, but I need something else too. Let's see if I can get these two ladies apart here. They got their sleeves kind of joined, but I think it's okay. side too. Hmm. I sort of like this better. I can make it a little bit shorter. Hmm. 
Stinker when I can't think of what I put. So for me, these are black and white. They're little animal print things that I got my daughter ages ago when she was into all that, and she's not into it anymore. <laughs> Old book page is always good. Okay. I know that's where all the good patina and color is, but I kind of need a not a straight edge there. I mean, it doesn't need to go all the way under her, but it's fine. It'll be a smoother surface. What are we at? 43. Sorry, I don't have any stories or anything today. I mean, we, it's like literally like Groundhog's Day around here. I feel like the movie, that is. Biggest excitement was selling my file folder journal yesterday. <laughs> And going and mailing it today. <laughs> Some exciting stuff. The mailing part. It's all of it's it's awesome to sell things for sure. Some of the butterflies would be good. Keep turning it this way and that way. Let's see. It's hard to ever get a full butterfly, that's for sure. I'm hungry all of a sudden, I guess, because it's about lunchtime. I was thinking, did I eat breakfast? <laughs> I did. I had bowl cereal. Have been known to do that.
Hmm. I feel like I want something else on there, but then I'll just cover up any of the, the one whole butterfly I have. <laughs> Do you see that? I put it on the lid. <laughs> Can't get any ink from the lid. Darn it. like a, what do you want to call it, oh see, that's lifting right there. This is where art glitter glue comes in especially handy. Just don't like those folds. Where it folds, they don't, they don't want to fold. Okay, let me glue down the um, little scrap thing before I forget entirely about it. on there. It's great use of scraps though, especially if you wanted to like send these out for happy mail or whatever. I need to do about a million of them. <laughs> no, that's all the way over there. Go down a little bit. fold anywhere with all that paper on it. Fix that spot too. Because this one didn't go all the way over there. See this doesn't want to stay down because there wasn't enough of an overlap. having many difficulties today. I have myself all mixed up with that, the way that paper was. This needs to scoot over a little bit. Luckily that uh, tacky glue is not as quick as um, like art glitter glue and all those. You definitely will need a bone folder because uh, once you start putting all that paper on there, they do not want to fold back up again. It's hard to keep them straight. There we go. And I will put a tie around it too so that it'll stay you know, closed. Luckily it doesn't go in the journal, this particular one, so. OK, 
Okay, so let's put our little uh, notch in this. And I would advise maybe let it dry entirely before you try to fold it back up. That always helps, but because of videoing, you know, it doesn't always work that way. And I will make a journaling card to go inside. If I can do that fast enough, but we can try. Let's see. We need. I don't know if one of these ladies would fit in there. Should fit right there. Let's do that. And these are from the old design shop. That same digi. This one I had to rip off the bottom of her dress because when I cut this one off, part of her dress was gone anyway, so I figured at least if I rip it, I could still use it. These are just pieces of stuff I have left. Kind of like that. Um, The tickets are from the my 18th century coloring book, and I printed them black and white instead of, um, you know, the regular color. I'm going to use art glitter glue for this because it's a cardstock. Make sure she sticks down well. With all her little glasses and stuff. Stock. And that was from a little 6x6 six six pad of paper, and I am not even sure what paper that was, because that's the end of it right there, which is kind of a bummer. I liked that one. Okay, so I'll save that scrap for something else, and then we need a journaling card. One of these would fit in there. I'll have to cut it down, but height-wise. Yes, it is. Because it's not quite as thick. So I'm thinking that might be a better way to go about it. Let's tear it out that. So really, you can use these um, cards just like paper for wherever you would do anything with paper. I could 
coffee dye that piece. I think I'll just rough up this edge. Folded it. <laughs> okay. And it's very white. Brush went. Great. Yeah, I'm bummed that I had to rip that, but it's probably good because she probably wouldn't fit on there otherwise, so. is um you can use it like washi tape because it's um sticker paper if I could talk I'm not sure you can tear it though I might try it right here Let's see if it'll work oh yeah it does tear nice so it's like a giant sticker so that's uh very helpful I mean lots of people have done stuff like this it's like you know it's like washi tape Essentially, I don't want to go this way. Maybe let's go this way. Oh, oops, I do need the. this. I know it's going to make it harder to get the sticker off, but you can't do that when you have stuff under it. <laughs> and I know that and I still do it. I can get the sticker off but yeah somebody was saying um you know could I make washi tape using my digis well this isn't my digi but um this is medieval mirage but um yeah I mean you could definitely do that just print it out on like label paper the whole sheet being um, a sticker instead of like you know just labels kind of sticky See, I, I messed myself up because I took off that edge. But obviously this is a super quick way. Less glue. But then you got to buy sticky paper, so I guess, I don't know. It's a, probably a wash. <laughs> That's fun. And then we could do something like that across the bottom so that her feet don't look so, you know, or her, the bottom doesn't look so chopped.
that worked very well though. Ah. I need to make more um, of that. Just tear it and stick it. <laughs> I don't know how long it would stick though. I'll stitch around this one. But um, yeah, that's something to think about. But if you're going to stitch around it, it would definitely work. I have to clean up my glue mess there. Always have to have a glue mess. No matter what I do. And since I've gone over the top of her dress and it's a little thicker, I am going to go ahead and use the um, Art Glitter Glue. Lots of the big trucks out there today. If I live in a pretty, you know, quiet residential area, it's just that they're um, building houses, so it's not easy right now. Looking for Shelby Got a Doodah. Love these labels. Fabulous. I don't know, do I want the bigger one or the littler one? Hmm. Don't know. going to be the bigger one. I don't know why I'm snipping this off into my stack of labels. That one would look good like down there like that. This one's... Yeah, maybe I do like the littler one. <laughs> there you go. Very pretty ladies. Oh, I'm over my hour. <laughs> Voila. Alright, I will stitch around that and um, add a little piece of lace or something, but essentially it is finished. And then I have some uh, black and white baker's twine that I'll be tying around that so that it'll, you know, hopefully stay closed a little bit better. So I hope that was um, helpful and that you guys liked that idea. So um, thank you so much for everything and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye now.